with another video if you are new to my channel please make sure you subscribe to my channel thumbs up this video and turn the notification bell on so whenever I post a video you'll be notified in today's video I'm going to be giving my top recommendations for Netflix mainly Netflix but I do have some other shows that I want to add to that list that I do watch that's not on Netflix um but because we're all stuck in a house and we pretty much don't have anything to do. My braids are getting on my nerves. We don't have anything to do. So we're pretty much just like binge watching TV shows or playing games with our family. But people that live alone and you want to watch TV, I can get you all some good recommendations. So let's get into it. So I made a list of shows that I watch or shows that I plan to watch or started. I'm not going to say I finished all of these shows, but these are my recommendations. So... First things first, let's go to Netflix. Netflix shows All American. Like, that's like the number one show on Netflix right now. Like, we all been waiting for that show to come back. Even though that show comes on on regular TV CW, um, everybody don't watch regular TV like that. So when it comes on Netflix, we want to binge watch. So people wait for it to come on Netflix. So All American, make sure y'all check that out. It's really, really good. Like, I just, I finished All American season two in like two days. Um, the Madam C.J. Walker story was really good. It's 24 episodes. Um, if that's what you're into, I know people are a little iffy when it comes to stuff like that. But it was really good and it was really modern. So that's another recommendation. Tiger King. This is also one of the top shows on Netflix right now. It just came out, I want to say maybe last weekend. The same weekend as the Madam C.J. Walker story. Um, that's really good. It's all over the place. Um, a little different, a little strange. But it was good. I stuck it out. It's maybe about six episodes, I believe, something like that. So it's not too long, but that's something good to watch. But All American has two seasons, 16 episodes each season, something like that. So that's a good show to binge watch where you can watch that for like a few days. Um, the Stranger on Netflix as well. That is a new show. I don't even, I don't believe that they're having a season two, but it's a good show to watch to just binge watch that season. Um, yeah, that was a good show. Ozark. Is going to be number what number am I at? Ozark is number five on my list. Ozark just came out with season three, so that is a good show to binge watch because you have three seasons of that to watch as well. One thing I will say about Ozark is a little slow starting off. I never even finished season one, but now that it's, it keep getting renewed in new seasons, I'm like, okay, maybe I missed out on something because it was a little too slow for me to grab my attention. But it was a good show, but it was just a little slow. So that's something that I'm going to go back and finish. You. I know that's been out for a while and if you haven't seen it, I say watch it. It's really good. Um, but I know most of you guys probably already seen you because it was so big on the internet. And he's nuts, but it's a great show. <laughs> um, soundtrack. It's a new show that I just started watching. Um, I don't really know how I feel about it, but I'm going to give it a chance. So I wanted to add it on it because it's something that I'm currently watching at the moment. I've literally only seen two episodes, so I'm not really... I'm not really all the way in. I'm not really out of it either. So give it a chance. Like me, give it a chance. <laughs> um, the last show on Netflix. The show is old, but it's a lot of seasons. I know some people, some of you guys probably seen the show pop up, but you're like, what the hell is this? Or why would I even want to watch this? You know, but it's my favorite show and I will watch it all over again. Jane the Virgin. It's really good. Jane the Virgin was a good show. It's about maybe like a good five seasons. That was another show that came on on the CW Network as well. And Netflix, when is that time to go to Netflix, they dropped the whole season. So, And their episodes are really, their seasons are pretty long as well. That's a really, a really long show to binge watch. It maybe took me weeks because it's so many episodes, but it was really good. Okay, we're done with Netflix. Those are all, all the shows I have for Netflix. So make sure y'all check out those shows on Netflix. I know everyone don't have cable and some people are like really aren't into cable. They rather have like Netflix and Hulu and these streaming things. So those are my Netflix shows. Next, I'm going to do my cable shows. These are shows that are currently on right now. I do have shows that's coming up, but I'm pretty sure you're all pretty so much familiar with them. Um, so shows that's on right now on BET. 20s on BET by Lena Waithe. Um, she's great. I love that show. 
20s on BET and also Boomerang on BET. They're both her shows as well. Um, really good show. She also has another show. I'm not sure if you guys have heard of it, but it's a show called The Shy that comes on on Showtime. That should be coming back this summer, but her shows is on now. 20s and Boomerang. Really good shows. It's, and I don't know if someone older would like those shows. That's my thing. Those are more so people... I feel like it's relatable for people my age, so it's really good. They're relatable, funny, so check those out too. Another show on BT is Sisters. Now Sisters is a Tyler Perry show. So if you're familiar with Tyler Perry, you can already know what he's given, but this is one where it's a lot of episodes. I think it's maybe like 16 episodes so far, maybe even more for this first season, but it's really good. It's ghetto ratchet TV and I, I love it. Like. I like stuff like that. And it's kind of relatable as well, but if you know Tyler Perry shit, you know Tyler Perry shit. I'm just going to say that. So, off of that, because as you all know, um, Insecure is coming back. If you guys don't watch that, that's another good show to watch on HBO. Um, the Shy is coming back. That's all I have for those like shows like that. But Hulu. Hulu. There's a show called Good Girls. I've only watched a few episodes, but I heard it's a good show. April told me I should add that to my list because it's a really good show and she likes the show. And it's, it's actually really popular now that I think about it. It pops up on my Hulu all the time. My next show is... So, the show on Hulu that I really enjoyed, it. they had one season on there. I don't, I don't believe it's been up there for too long. So maybe the beginning of the year, sometime like that. Maybe February. High Fidelity on Hulu. Starring Zoe Kravis. Zoe Kravis. Is it Zoe or is it Zoe? Her. But she's the main character in the show and it's a really good show. I love the show. Um, yeah, and that's really it on my list. So I just gave y'all how many shows? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. I just gave y'all about 15 shows if you want to include Shy, Insecure, and stuff like that. But other than that, I gave y'all 12 good shows. Most of them are on Netflix, so if you don't have cable and you have Netflix, you're good to go. Those are some good shows to binge watch, to get caught up on while we're stuck inside. I know it's not too much that we can do, but if you want to watch TV, there you go. On your computer, on your phone. It's like, I know everybody not into everything, but you got Hulu. If you don't got Hulu, use a friend. Make it work. Stay safe, stay inside, keep your hands clean, and... Hopefully this is all over soon. We can go outside again. But in the meantime, in between time, watch the other videos on my channel. Follow me on Instagram at I am Erin Monique. Let me know if y'all want to see um, how I did my hair. Um, I just did this. So, and at first I didn't like it, but now since I got my makeup on and stuff, I think it's not too bad. So, yeah. That is the end of my list of recommendations that I have for Hulu, Netflix, and cable shows that are really good. Um, make sure you check out those shows. Let me know if you are watching any of those shows in the comments below as well. And also, you can give me other recommendations. Drop other shows that y'all watching in the comments that I may have missed myself or overlooked as well. But subscribe to my channel. Thumbs up this video. Turn the post, turn the post, notification, turn the post notification bell on. Subscribe and I'll see y'all in the next video.